In this training, I'll be covering Trimble Base and MS Receiver data logging. Topics that will be covered. How to start data logging on Trimble Bases. Retrieving the captured log files from the base. Data logging on MS Receivers and retrieving the log files from the MS Receivers. When investigating a suspected GNSS interference or jamming issue, analysis of GNSS raw data might be required for Trimble support teams to assist in troubleshooting. Trimble bases and MS GNSS smart antennas have a logging memory and can be configured to log raw GNSS data. The log files can be extracted and supplied to Trimble support for analysis. Trimble base data logging. The base receiver must have the data logging option to be able to log GNSS data. To confirm if the base has, receiver has the data logging option, log into the web UI of the base. Select receiver status, then to receiver options. In the receiver options under additional features, data logging should be displayed. If the data logging option is not enabled, and support has requested data logging, contact Trimble Support. They may be able to assist you in providing the required data logging option. To enable data logging, select data logging in the web UI menu. Data log is activated by starting a session. A session sets the type and storage intervals for logged information, the scheduled time and duration of logging, the file system, the file naming convention, and other attributes. In this example, the default session has been selected. The name cannot be changed on the default session. The enable box has been ticked, and the OK has been selected. Data logging has now started. To end the data logging session, deselect the enable tick. This will disable the current data logging session. You can create multiple session types with custom settings, including session name, types and storage intervals for logged information, the scheduled time and duration of logging, the file system, the file naming convention and other attributes. The file format T02 and T04 files, in general to maximise the amount of data that can be stored, use a T02 format. However, if you want to use the more feature rich format that will help Trimble with any support issues, use a T04 format. For more detailed information on Trimble based data logging, go to receiverhelp.trimble.com. Retrieving log files from the base. To retrieve the log files from the base, disable the current session. Go to data files. The session T0 files will be grouped into one file. Select the file and download. Once the file has been downloaded, send the file to support for further analysis. MS Receiver Data Logging From Earthworks version 2.9, GNSS data logging can be enabled via the web UI. Select Operation, GNSS Management, GNSS Receiver Logging, then select Save. For Earthworks versions 2.8 and lower, a patch file from support is required to enable data logging. The patch file supplied by support will need to be uploaded. Select Advanced and Patch Files. Once the files have been uploaded, select Logging On and Apply. To confirm data logging has been enabled on the receivers, the power LED on the GNSS receiver should start flashing at 1 Hz rate. In a dual GNSS system, the right receiver power LED will also flash. If it does not flash, the receiver's memory may be full and you can clear it by a hard reset on the unit. On version 2.9 and above, 
To disable data login, go to Operation, GNSS Management, Disable Data Logging, and click Save. GNSS Data Logging will also be disabled when a system is power cycled. For Earthworks 2.8 and lower, to disable data logging, the log off patch file must be applied in the web UI. To confirm data logging has been disabled on the receivers, the power LED on both receivers should remain solid. Retrieving log files from the MS receivers. To download the logs from the receivers, you will need the MS receiver service cable. Connect the service cable to the MS receiver. You will need to supply power to the cable. Connect the COM1 connector on the service cable to the computer serial port. You may need to use a USB to serial adapter if your computer does not have a serial port. You will need to install the data transfer utility. Download and install the data transfer program. This can be located at www.trimble.com forward slash data transfer. Connect the service cable to the receiver. Ensure the receiver power light is on. In Device Manager, confirm the serial port connection on your computer. Open Data Transfer and select Disconnect. To add a new device to Data Transfer, select Devices, New, then select GPS Receivers 5000 Series, then select OK. Select the COM port the service cable is connected to. Select Next. Enter a name for the new device. Then select Next. Change the maximum board rate to the highest value. Then select Next. The Display Summary on Completion, if selected, will give a summary for each file that is transferred. This can be turned off. And select Finish. Close the device window. The new device should now appear in the device window. If the device does not appear, select the correct device from the drop down list. Select connect. Data transfer will now connect to the MS receiver. The bottom LED will flash on the MS receiver when the serial connection is established. To start transferring the files from the receiver, select Add. Select Browse to set the destination directory where the files will be transferred to. Select the MS receiver, then select Open. Click on the files to download, then select Open. Select Transfer All. Depending on the number of files to be transferred from the receiver, it can take a while. I find it better to select groups of files to transfer at one time and not all the files in one download. Once the selected files have been transferred, a report is displayed. Select OK, then select Closed. Repeat the process until all the files have been transferred from the MS receiver. Once all the files have been transferred from the receiver, select Disconnect and Close Data Transfer. Go to the file destination on your computer. Zip the files and send the files to support. The new MS9X6 receivers have been released. The new receivers have a web interface similar to the SBS bases. The data transfer program is no longer required. The logged files can be retrieved from the receivers using a service cable and the web UI. Data logging on the MS9X6 receivers will be covered on a later video. For more information, see the MS9X6 user guide on Partners.